although it has recently been discovered that estrogen does perform changes at the cell membrane. The major action of estrogen is through its cytoplasmic receptor. After estrogen binds to the estrogen receptor, the complex then migrates to the nucleus of the cell. Once inside the nucleus of the cell, the estrogen and estrogen receptor complex bind to the DNA and thus activate genes. Human genes are off until they are turned on. And one of the primary ways of turning on a gene is to have the appropriate proteins bind to it. So thus estrogen bound to its receptor activate genes by physically binding to the DNA. Many of the proteins activated by estrogen promote cell division. Some mutations that promote cancerous growth are such that cells express estrogen receptors when they are not supposed to. When estrogen is in the blood, it commands certain cells to divide. And if mutant cells express estrogen receptors, they will then respond to the presence of estrogen and divide when they should not. Such a mutation could make the development of cancer more likely. While most breast cancers are estrogen dependent, at least at the beginning, they require the hormone estrogen in order to thrive and grow. Ultimately, many of them become estrogen independent and continue to divide even when estrogen is not present. Very often how this occurs is through mutations in estrogen receptors so that the receptors are always activated. Usually estrogen receptors are only activated and only turn on genes when they have bound the hormone estrogen. But certain mutant receptors have the ability to bind DNA and turn on genes even when they have not bound estrogen. And so they may continually tell cells to divide even when estrogen is absent.